What's up guys? Uh, welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, I have to say what's up. My name is Frances Michelle. In today's video, guys, it is a haul. I went shopping. I went on a shopping spree. <laughs> my husband was not happy. But I needed to buy a lot of things that I needed for the house, and especially for house decor when it comes to Christmas, because I didn't have anything, to be honest. Like when I went to the little containers to open up and put out my Christmas decor, I had nothing. I was like, what the heck? So I needed to go shopping. Mm -hmm. Excuses, excuses. Anyways, guys, I have a ton of things that I want to share with you guys today that I want to show you where I got the things and everything. And I just can't wait to dive in and show you everything because I need to start using it in the house. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this video. <laughs> So first thing is first, if you are not yet to be subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe right down there and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you do not miss any of my uploads. And as usual, if you don't follow me on Instagram, which you should, it's francis2s.michelle. That is where I am half of the time. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get started. So I went shopping on Tuesday, I think it was. Tuesday. Well, all this is from Tuesday and Wednesday. And I wanted to show you guys everything. You guys were like, hey, show me what you got. What are you buying for Christmas decor? So that is why I recorded this video. So I went to Target, Ross, Bed Bath & Beyond, TJ Maxx, and Hobby Lobby. And Walmart. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I have a problem. Anyways, so let's go ahead and dive in because I don't like to really like talk a lot about the things. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave the Christmas stuff for last because I really wanna talk to you guys about the Christmas stuff. So I'm just gonna just kind of like go through what I have here. Okay, so let's start with TJ Maxx. With TJ Maxx, I got a few things that are for the, yeah, for the house. I got some things for the house, so I'm excited. So let's start first with, I wanna decorate, well, y'all know that my house is modern farmhouse. So everything that has to do with farmhouse, I love and I want for my house. Now, I came across Ray Dunn. I hope I'm saying it right. Right, Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn. I think her name is Ray Dunn. And she's like very farmhouse and whatever. And I found these coffee mugs. Like, ah, look, it says dad. And this one says mom. This one says mom. This one says dad. Can you guys see it? Can you guys see it? There you go. And they're black, which they match my kitchen because my kitchen is white and black. And I just thought they were really, really cute. Me and my husband, we love collecting um, coffee mugs. We have the fancy coffee mugs that my husband likes making his fancy coffee to people. So yeah, we picked out those coffee mugs because we are obsessed with coffee mugs. And I was just like, heck yeah. So I'm in the hunt for everything right done when it comes to my kitchen. Like I want to put the utensils, the sugar, the coffee, like everything right done. And I'm in the hunt for it and I, I I have insiders on TJ Maxx, so. Um, what else did I got at TJ Maxx? I know I bought a few things at TJ Maxx. I'm just trying to, okay. The next thing I bought at TJ Maxx, guys, oh my God. We, it, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so I want to do everything um, like this, this pattern. This pattern is called, I don't know what this pattern is called. This is like checkerboard or something, funnel, I don't know. So I saw these and I said I have to have them, especially for my Christmas decor. I will show you later. But these are perfect because I want to keep this same pattern throughout my house forever. So these were like super perfect. I love how they're so cushiony and I just love, love, love how these are. And these were super inexpensive. They're the big thick ones. Normally these are like $40, $20 each. Both of them together were $25. I was like, winning. So I am going to decorate this for, for Christmas. It's that pattern. But at the same time, I was looking at farmhouse decor and most of farmhouse decors have that type of pattern. And I was just like, I can't believe it. I found the ones I was looking for. Okay, I think that was it for TJ Maxx. I don't think I picked out anything from TJ Maxx more than that. My husband was, when we went, when I went to TJ Maxx, my husband was with me. So I wasn't able to pick a lot of things. But when I went to Ross, I was able to pick up a lot of things, guys. And I want to share them all with you guys. So the first thing I picked out, 
Oh, I'm sorry, at TJ Maxx, my husband picked out this bag for him. He's um he does traveling for work and he likes to put his laptop and stuff. So we pick, we he saw this backpack. This is great, guys, for now for the holidays. If you have a husband, you have a boyfriend or someone who likes to carry like their electronics, this backpack is super super sturdy, super super nice. It's uh it is a waterproof. It's, it's a weatherproof material. So it's water resistant and everything, and it's just super nice. It has like the brown leather um, accents on it, and my husband was like, babe, this is nice. I was like, all right, you should get it, because I'm already buying a lot of things anyway, so. All right, so when I went to Ross, I found a few things for the house. I want to share with you Ross, what I got at Ross. So I needed some tongues, and I love my, I love um, like sailing seal tongues, and then this one I love because it's the one that has like the, like the lock in here. So I love like when I'm cooking, I'll just kind of like hit it and it opens and then I just press this and it closes. So I thought this was really, really pretty. And I love it because these things are very inexpensive at Ross. I paid $3 for this tongues and they're super sturdy material. So I was like, all right, I like that. Then the next thing I got are these um, cooking utensils. These are a sharper image. This is a five piece set nylon utensils. And because my kitchen is black and white, I got them black. But guys, check out the handle. The handle, I don't know if you guys can see it. The handle is marble. Ah, I was like, I need it. So this is gonna look nice either way you put it. If you put them upside down in a utensil, um, like a utensil canister, or if you put them like this, you have the black. So I was like, this is perfect for me. Then I picked out a few toys for my kids. Um, I wish I can show you, but my kids were like, oh, my sons were like, oh my God, babe. I bought him a lot of toys. I'm trying to figure out if I put some of the things here, but I don't think I did. I bought him a lot of toys. Everything was for like three to eight dollars, and I was just like winning. Some of the toys I have here that I picked up for my other boys, so because my surfaces are a cream, a light color, I'm very picky. I don't want my kids to be sitting on them all the time with them being boys. They're always dirty. They're always, they always, they're always dirty. So I don't want to dirty my surfaces. So I saw only one. I'm on the hunt to see if I can find another one. This is, this is a beamless beanbag chair. But anyways, it's pretty huge it's a pretty big one so i'm i love that it's white and black also even though it's a soccer ball it is white and black so it's gonna match nicely if my kids uh leave it here thrown in the living room i'm not gonna be mad at them because it kind of matches and then the other thing i got for my son this is for my baby um is this one right here a little rolling and blinking happy hoops is like a little nice like toy for him where he can sit down and 12 months and up he can sit down in front of it and he just throws the ball the balls bounce back at him and it was like eight bucks it was also eight dollars so he's like i cannot wait to show him so then i went to bed bath and beyond and i picked out one thing only that i've been looking forever and i kind of did not want to spend the full price on it but my son needed a new backpack. I got him a nice bag. This is the Skip Hop, I think it's called Skip Hop. Yeah, the Skip Hop brand. And it's so cute because I call him a little monkey and it has like the little bananas here and it's just a perfect, perfect backpack for him. Then, I went over to Bath & Body Works because they had some candles on sale and I was able to pick up two candles from their uh, winter collection. And I wanna show you the two ones that I picked out. These are the ones we pick out every single year for this um, for this season. There are, there are like, like um, there are signature scent. So we picked up fresh, fresh balsam. This one smells like pine, like the actual um, tree, like the actual Christmas tree. This is what it looks like. It's the green one. And then we picked out the one that is called bergamot waters it's like a very nice uh clean scent but i absolutely love these scents this especially this one is like one of our signature scents when it comes to christmas okay so i'm trying to see other small ones that i went this is from hobby lobby i'm trying to leave hobby lobby for last because it's the one i got the most um so at Target, I picked up a few things. Most of the things I picked up at Target are clothes for my boys. My boys, um, I can, this is the only place that I can find inexpensive, good, good quality clothing. 
And these are the shirts that I pick up for my boys all the time. Um, they're just long tees and they just fit perfectly and my kids love them and they're very good quality so that's what I picked up for them. I picked up some for my little baby. So I picked up a few um, tees for my little baby. So everything I picked up and look at this guys, my son no longer fits in a onesie because he's already a year old. So I had to pick up these cuteness of PJs for him. I was like, what the heck? Like look at these. Look at these cute PJs. Look at those cute PJs. Look, 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 look. This is like crazy. Look at these joggers. So most of the clothes I picked out for him, I buy at um, Target. I buy everything at Target and H&M. But mostly the t-shirts for both my, for all three of my boys, I buy them at Target. So if you're looking to buy clothes for your kids, Target is the place to be. All right, the other thing I picked up at Target actually is two things for um, Christmas. This was in the dollar section. This is this is a Christmas countdown calendar, and I love it because it has that that like chip lag, chip chip lap, chip lap. Yeah, it has that wood chip lap feel, like like very very farmhouse, and then you have a little wreath that you can put one Chris one day till Christmas, two days till Christmas. I'm sorry, Christmas. Yeah, one day. 24 days, 22 days, 21 days. So I am super, super happy about this find in the Target dollar spot. And then the other thing, I saw this on Instagram. Someone posted it on their stories. I don't remember who it was. And I was like, this is the cutest thing. It's a freaking plate that says cookies for Santa. Like, come on, like this couldn't be more perfect for Christmas, like it couldn't. That was actually $3. All right. Um, I think that's it. That concludes everything from other stores. Oh, Walmart, guys. Look at this, guys. Like, I really wanted to show you. I've been buying my shirts from Walmart, and I've been obsessed. This shirt is from Walmart. I have another shirt that I always wear. It's from Walmart. And then I picked up these two ones. Of course, you need to have black and white fennel. Fennel, I think it is called. Flannel, or whatever. And then look at this one. It looks like the one, the green one that I have on, but it's black and white. And it's such a super soft, cozy, comfortable material. Like, I'm obsessed with the things Walmart's bringing lately. Like, I have no shame on buying Walmart clothes. Like, for real. All right, so let's get down to the goods, guys. Let's go ahead and start showing you what I got for my Christmas decor. So the first thing is first. I want to get rid of this because it's, like, annoying me. <sighs> we got this for the tree. This is going to be the skirt for the tree because we're doing... We're doing this farmhouse feel, so this just called for my tree. My tree needs this skirt. So this is just like the metal thing for the tree, so I hope that it looks good. I'm crossing my fingers that it does. So everything I picked out has that uh, checker vibe. So I have, everything is gonna be red, I'm sorry, everything's gonna be black and white with a hint of red. So I picked up two of these big trees these two, um, and then I picked one small one in red just to kind of give that balance. Then I picked out one of these, which is, says Merry Christmas, and then it has the red and black. So when I put the white and black ones here, I can put this one in the middle. So it kind of gives you like a more of a vibe for Christmas because it's red. I picked up the table runner. We have the table runner. We have these little cotton balls, um, like fall cotton balls for the tree. It has that white and pink, white and black um, checker thing going on. And then we picked up all, all the, like all the little um, tree decorations. So they're, they're a mix of these ones, of this beautiful checker plate, whatever you guys wanna call it, um, mixture of the checker plate just like this, and metal. So that's like kind of like that farmhouse feel. So we got a few of them. This one's also, I don't know if you guys can see them. We have some of these, which are like the metal ones. Just, um, this is gonna be your first time doing like farmhouse um, <laughs> Christmas tree. We normally do very festive Christmas tree. So I hope that it really turns out nicely, just because, you know, it's, it's like really weird to tell you that this belongs to Christmas, but let's just try it. So I have another one of those, then I have another one of these, which are pretty, pretty cool. And then, let's see. 
My husband thought these were really, really cute. These are like the water thing or whatever they're called. Um, and they're also metal. So let's see how my tree is gonna turn out. Like I said, I normally do very festive colors. All right, guys, so to wrap it up, we have more of the little balls, the played balls. Um, and we have like little stars. So we're just gonna see how it turns out, guys. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a decorate with me video so you guys can see how I decorate my house for Christmas, kind of how my tree comes together with this whole farmhouse feels. And I'm hoping that I like it because this farmhouse like um, decorations at Hobby Lobby were very, very, very expensive um, compared to when you buy a bulk of balls. And I just hope that everything comes out together nicely and we um, end up liking it because honestly, like, ah! Anyways, guys, so this concludes my haul. This is what I bought from Tuesday and Wednesday. I bought clothes for the kids. I bought Christmas decor, I bought house decor, I bought toys. I bought a lot of things and I always like to go to these um, stores. I You always find me at Burlington. Burlington will be my last option. For me, Burlington is a little expensive. But you will always find me at TJ Maxx, Ross, and Walmart, to be honest. Um, but la, 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 la. yeah, guys, I hope you liked the haul. I needed to do this haul because I have to start decorating. So stay tuned for the decor with me. It's coming up next. And yeah, guys, so if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you let me know on the comment section below where is that you go for your Christmas shopping decor. I always like to try new things. I always like to find new options when it comes to shopping. Thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you guys so much for sticking till the end. Muchos besos. I'll see you all on my following video. Adios.